Welcome back, my name is Patrick, and this is the Oilers Rundown. Let's kick things off with the latest on Patrick Kane. On the Oil Stream podcast, Tom Gazzola downplayed the recent speculation regarding Kane, urging fans to not get too excited. Yes, the possibility of acquiring Patrick Kane has been discussed by Oilers management, but there are no active trade talks. I would love for the Oilers to add Patrick Kane, and if something can be done now, I would do it. I don't see any point in waiting for the trade deadline, but there has to be a willingness on all sides. We know the Oilers would just be one of many teams interested in Kane, and with his trade clause, Kane will ultimately have the final say on where and when he goes. Kurt Levins at the Cult of Hockey posted his Nine Things article early Sunday morning, and here are some of the latest details he shared. First up, here's the latest on Sam Gagne. I received a lot of feedback on my article last Sunday, and on the Sam Gagne item in particular. I do fully expect Gagne and Oilers camp come this September. Some understandably wondered how that could happen with the Oilers cap situation. Well, a professional tryout has no cap implications. Zero risk to the club. The puck would be in Gagne's end to make the team. At this point, provided Gagne is willing to do it, a professional tryout is the best case scenario for the Oilers. I'm a huge fan of Gagne, and I believe he can still bring value to the Oilers' bottom six but I know a good chunk of the fan base believes he's not what the Oilers need. A tryout gives Gagne the opportunity to show he still has it and can find a role. If the fit just isn't there anymore, training camp can show that and both sides can part ways. Gagne posted another photo to his Instagram, this time hanging out with Connor McDavid and Leon Dreisaitl. Another possible sign of Gagne's future. Kyle Turris has officially retired from the NHL, He'll be taking on the role of a special advisor to the GM of the Coquitlam Express of the BCHL. The Oilers had several players dealing with injuries following the season. The injured included Darnell Nurse, Leon Dreisaitl, Ryan Nugent Hopkins, Jesse Pugliarvi, and Kyler Yamamoto. They are all reportedly good to go for training camp. Levins also further confirmed that Duncan Keith has an offer from the Oilers to join them in an off-ice role. We presume it's in player development. Head coach Jay Woodcroft first mentioned Keith's return earlier this week on Oilers Now. Levins mentions that Keith could definitely be a factor in luring Patrick Kane to Edmonton. I wanted to send out a special congratulations to Team Canada, picking up the gold medal in the World Juniors Tournament last night. A lot of controversy surrounding this whole tournament, but congrats to the young men who had no part of any of that and who showed up and gave it their all. And also... What an incredible save last night by Mason McTavish. Finland was that close to the gold medal, and McTavish absolutely robs them. One of the best saves I've ever seen. And lastly, on Friday, we got to witness Ben Stelter's celebration of life. It was so nice to get to hear from Ben's amazing parents and learn even more about what an incredible young boy Ben was. You just know he would have grown up to be an incredible man, but in his short life, he touched more lives and had a greater impact than most people do in an entire lifetime. If you didn't get a chance to see the celebration of life, I've put a link to it in the description below. We will miss you always, Ben. You will never be forgotten in oil country. Well, that's all for now, guys. Lower your anticipation on Patrick Kane, though I still think there's a strong chance that could happen at some point, but obviously a lot of factors come into it. Raise your expectations on Sam Gagne. I think he's coming in on a PTO. All the signs are pointing to it. Like I said in the video, it's the best possible solution for the Oilers. If Gagne comes in, doesn't look like he has it in training camp, both sides can part ways. If Gagne comes in, shows what he can do, the Oilers can likely lock him into a one-year, 750 k contract at that point. Let me know your thoughts on everything in the comment section below. If this is your first visit to the channel and you like what you see, please consider liking and subscribing for all the latest Oilers content. You've been watching the Oilers Fanatic. Thanks for being a fan. Enjoy the rest of your weekend, guys. I'll see you soon.